This otter is costing me so much money. He's eating so much food. He gets boneless cod. He's just spoiled beyond all measure. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve sprats will be enough for now. You have made a mess in here, fella, haven't you, Ken? You're a turkey, you've made so much mess. Yuck. I feel like a good otter sprint. Well, the other day we took him for a CT scan just to get everything checked out, his jaw and his nasal cavity and everything and uh, the CT scan showed us an awful lot which was fantastic. So he's got lots of little fractures all around his skull mainly affecting the the kind of upper part of his jaw but there's lots going further back. The vet having looked at all these CT scans thinks with luck with the antibiotic um, it'll heal by itself so that's what we're hoping for now. I'm gonna lift that box up and put it on the edge of that water tray Mm -hmm. and I just want you to steady that in one place so I can spray him with a better icing which is basically helping his the wounds on his feet heal quickly but he does get very stroppy when we do it his legs are healing <coughs> very well actually but he doesn't like the better icing so we have to just pick our moment when we can get to him it doesn't matter if it goes in his face it's no harm to the face at all but he really doesn't like this and the trouble yesterday I just put my hand down on the handle to lift it back in and by the time I had my hand halfway there, I actually felt his teeth contact my finger. Luckily not to go over them, so I'm going to be a bit more circumspect this time. You go in there, and then I don't get bitten. That's really cool. Well, he's been eating his out of house and home, but luckily we've got a friendly fishmonger who is supplying a lot of the food at no cost, which is saving us a lot of money. But sadly, he can't always supply us. What's the most expensive fish you've got here? Because I, I think he'd like that there. Tenner. Ten pound a kilo. He's going to eat ten quid worth of fish a day. Yeah. The little swine. I'm going to put him back in the river. Because I brought a cameraman, he's had to give yeah. us the fish for nothing. Or the whole of Surrey are going to know what a, what a tight old Scrooge <laughs> is. He's got his food. He's just about to come out and eat it as well. So I'm glad I'm not in there anymore. But uh, he's tucking in quite well. He does like his food, rather like me. It's nothing like a good meal of fresh cod, sprats and mints, but I do prefer my mints cooked.